Yo! Hey, what's up? It's Crash, and I just want to take this opportunity and use this method to say thank you very much. After announcing Earth Day birthday 18. 18, all right? I've been in town since 1994, so I've been in town since uh, we've been doing these things. And, uh, you know, I, I came down from Jacksonville working at WAPE, listening to Chris Train, Grease Man back in the day. Got hired. Uh, J.J. Dueling took a chance on me at WNFI in Daytona. Stayed there for a cup of coffee about two years before Mike Beck at DIZ called me up and gave me the opportunity. I thought it was a dream job, and it was, to work over at WDIZ, Heritage Rock Station here in the town. Got to hook up with uh, Slats, Mark Zemanski, Larry the Cable Guy, Rocco, you know, met Pat Lynch, CJ at uh, WDIZ. Then we had the big merger here. I, and I guess it was, uh, you know, I think it was 96 or something like that, but there was a, a big merger, and that's uh, when I started working at Clear Channel, started working at JRR. And I've been here ever since, man. I, I'm, I'm always thinking... Is this going to be my last Earth Day birthday? When is it? When, when are they finally going to get me? You know what I mean? I mean, look at Pat and Bob. Uh, they're now back for the first time in about three years. But I've been lucky enough to stay, man. That's only because of the love that you guys have shown me and listened to the radio station and made it where they can't yank me, you know, hopefully. But uh, I just want to say I want to treat it like it is my last in case it is. No thing is guaranteed. You're always on house money when you're in radio, and uh, I think I speak on behalf of uh, Rick Everett, uh, somebody I, I've known for a long time since uh, we went to school together in Jacksonville, who's he's my boss now, which is awkward at sometimes, but uh, LT, the lady I work across the board with, hardworking lady, my partner in crime on the radio, thank you very much, Josh Egolf, one of the hardest working people uh, as far as marketing and promotions, Blue Chipper. Uh, Dickerman, I mean, we did the mornings together. I've been in battles with this guy as far as radio. With Larry the Cable Guy, I've known this guy forever since he was an intern at DIZ. Love that guy. Uh, Pat and Bob, man. These guys have been through the ringer. You know, what can you say? Welcome back, fellas, to Earth Day Birthday 18 for the first time in like three years. Of course, Mel Taylor, who was working over at, you know, O-Rock was the enemy at one point, the enemy at one point. And now uh, she works with us right alongside us uh, and, and here in this city, which Orlando, just a great, great town. Don't forget about Super Dave, all right? And, uh, you know, I just I want to say thank you very much. I just want to let you guys know that do not take it for granted that I've been here for 17 years. Knock on wood. And, uh, you know, I just know that every time that... Earth Day birthday comes around. It's just a tribute to the love that you guys have given, uh, you know, the radio station and me. I've been able to pay my bills. You know, I, it's a modest living. I'm not a Howard Stern type or anything like that. But I've been able to feed my kids and raise my kids. Morgan, um, my stepson Tommy, my little guy Phoenix, who is, uh, you know, the, 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 all my kids raised in this town because you guys have been listening to the radio. My lovely wife, Angela, puts up with a lot when it comes to this business. And all my casual and close friends, casual friends that you meet around to come out to Love Juice shows, we go to sporting events, you know, Earth Day, Birthday, Monster Truck, you know, the thing in the Citrus Bowl there, but, you know, out in traffic. You know, sometimes we don't see each other all the time, but we always take up where we left off, and that's the cool thing about this town. I love Orlando. Love you guys. I love that you guys love me. So thank you very much. And uh, coming up on April 16th, at some point, I'll hold the cold one up, and I want you to, to toast and cheers, all right? Uh, it doesn't happen all the time, and I'm not saying it's going to be my last Earth Day birthday, but I'm going to treat it like it could be. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you at Earth Day birthday 18. Till then, shove it, baby.